on everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Five some news, babe. Five some news, doc. Today we got 23 mods on the testing list. We got a few mod updates on Mod Hub. Giants are heading to Gamescom this week. And we got six modders to talk about, including a new map from Custom Modding. Ooh. Let's check it out. Starting off with our mods and testing. Today we have 23 mods on the list. Nine of those are in stage one or PC testing, and 14 of them are in stage two or console testing. They are kind of all over the place, so I'll try my best. Some notable mods in PC testing include the Klaus Quantum 3800K, Gorg Terrasofter Pack, and Work Camera. Also in PC testing, we have the Homemade Lizard Fork 2, Yara Valley Australia, and the Homer Machinery Pack. Rounding out PC testing, we have the Ross Smash Acros 595, Alaris MES 400 and Sapphire, and the small post-German house. Jumping down to console mods and testing, we've got a couple interesting ones like the Novacat X8ED, Lone Care Trailer, which is different from 82 Studios Lone Care Trailers pack, and the International S1800 Plus, which is exactly what you think it is. Also in console testing, we have the John Deere 5403 still in testing, the Aura Scraper, New Holland Big Baylor 1290, and the GDR Village Pack. With all that being said, we still have 189 mod city waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is about 11 work days. We did get a mod update over the weekend, close to home by Ola Haldor. This was version 1001, fixed an issue where multiplayer did not work, fixed missing pixels in an unmarked field next field six this mass jump is no longer leased but owned when you start added collision for the boot the hose and the bucket added support for the pick your start farm and added re re removed rather a floating tree <laughs> they've added the non-floating tree there you go this update is available right now for all platforms and has been since saturday another update but actually dropped super early this morning was the planet pumps and hoses extension by caster this was also version 1001 but a little bit smaller removed dependencies to allow activation on server again and as well this update is for all platforms the next two weeks are going to be a lot of fun with giants attending events in Germany and right here in the United States. First up is Gamescom this week in Cologne, Germany, starting this Wednesday, only two days away. There's going to be lots of gaming stations to check out for Farm Sim, as well as the Farming Simulator League this weekend. We also tend to get a lot of new information, big announcements, and new teaser videos during Gamescom, so keep an eye out for some possible surprises this week. Then next week, right here in the United States, Giants are going to be attending PAX West in Seattle, Washington from September 1st through the 4th. That's going to be Friday through Monday, where they will be meeting fans and showing off what's coming for Farming Simulator. Myself, Farmer Cop, and Trucker Matsy, as well as maybe a few others, will be there to meet you and hang out. And if you're going to be at the event, hey, let me know on Discord so we can meet up. Jumping over to modern news, the Black Sheep Modding have a few bombshells for us today, super early this Monday morning. First off, Campaign of France and the MAN pack have already been submitted for testing with Giants on all platforms. The mods aren't on the testing list today, but with the waiting time at 11 workdays, maybe another week or so before we see them. Additionally, their Pro Bell Grab with Auto Load is in the works right now. It will be coming soon on all platforms on Mod Hub. This was a super popular mod in Farm Sim 19, and I'm sure it'll be just as popular in 22. It'll be available in different colors with different attachment options, including three point, front loader, telehandler, and wheel loader. It also has auto loading, so you don't have to be precise when picking up the bells. Very cool mod. I can't wait to see it in our folders. However, if you would like to get a sneak peek of it, Black Sheep Modding did drop a video over the weekend on YouTube showing it off. I'll leave that link below. Mac Trucker 921 is back with the project to replace his Kloss edit called The Beast. This new model is based off the Case Combine in game and will be called The Reaper because, in his words, you reap what you sow. Very epic. The mod's gonna have up to 2,000 horsepower, options for pipe lengths to use with the 18 meter headers, up to 500,000 liter unrealistic capacity, and lots of chunky tire choices. One of the other things I really like about this combine is that it'll match perfectly with this Case Magnum 34400 Series Special Edition FL. This thing's gonna be nuts. Next up, let's talk about Whiskey Sierra modding real quick and an update on their Volvo VNL pack for all platforms. We will have some options for day cap or sleeper as well as some new Alcoa rims. LR modding's working on another John Deere mod, the 2720 Ripper series. This will be available in three versions. We'll have a 27 foot, 22 and 17 foot. And as of right now, the modeling's about 80% done with everything else left to do. Additionally, LR did say that their DB90 that we talked about a few weeks ago will be PC only. I'm not sure if they have any plans to bring it to Mod Hub in the future or not, but I will keep you posted if that changes. Next, Mr. Hector has announced another new feature coming to Carpathian Countryside, Compost. This is the last piece of the puzzle when it comes to greenhouses and orchards that will be coming to the map in this update. You can make it in a special compost silo or buy it and you can sell it for a small profit. 
You can also use it to fertilize your fields like manure. However, it will not work if you are using precision farming as custom fertilizer types are not supported with precision farming. Either way, a very cool addition and it helps tie all of the new productions and products together. And lastly today, Custom Mining shows off a new conversion that they're doing, RZR Farms. They will be using the layout of the fields and farms from the map that it had before and updating everything else to farm some 22 specs. It will have new buildings, green bins, roads, and textures. The map is 4X, however, but Custom Mining do say they plan to do a console version. That's super cool. I'll let you guys know when we've got more information on this map. And I'll let you know when we've got more information on well, literally anything else. Uh, just like every episode of Farm Some News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. And you can check out this entire video in the form of a news article at farmsomenews.com thanks to Yost Modding. Remember, there are no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, that just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Enjoy the GoHand fam. Double check those notification bells as well. That way, you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Instead, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. <laughs> so, some big events from Giants for the next two weeks. What do you think they're going to announce?